Hey everybody, this is Calvin Waite. I trade crypto for a living. I'm not a registered or licensed financial advisor, planner, or broker, so nothing on this channel should be uh, taken as a recommendation to buy or sell. I also trade all of these things, so I probably have a vested interest in there. Um, but there's plenty of entertainment value and lots of education, so this will be awesome. For those of you who didn't know, my uh, subscription channel is live. So look at the link in the description over at cryptoinfluencers.com and you can see how I make all of my trades and what I do and what I think about everything. This channel is for uh, more hypothetical and looking at trends and the other one is for actual trading. So you might be interested in that. <laughs> all right, happy, happy Thursday today. Uh, today is a good day for me. I'm having a great day. Uh, I know markets are not so so hot, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we can we can get a turnaround. We've got some things to look at in the markets. Um, before we go too far, I wanted to remind you to subscribe at the cryptoinfluencers.com. Uh, come find me on the free channel here. Once you sign up, um, you can click on the chat, which is here, open chat, and that will bring you to this place where you can put in your Ethereum address and I, I'm giving away $25 per day. Um, Imran's, congratulations on getting the uh, $25. Uh, sometimes it's pure random. Sometimes I pick out somebody who uh, gave a, an awesome uh, comment in chat or something like that. So um, the that's kind of how that's running. Um, and then Wednesdays, join me for a live stream. Uh, we like to answer questions and kind of go through things. We can go, we can get a little bit deeper into the things you guys are interested in by, um, you know, looking at comments and everything. So um, last time we had comments on Twitch and YouTube, so you can you can kind of catch us catch me somewhere in there. All right, let's talk about our market. First of all, I did want to acknowledge that our daily close on the S and P was the highest that we have had since, yeah, since uh, August 22nd. Today's close was phenomenal uh, on the regular market and we kind of had a green day, so we were up all day long. Crazy that that didn't translate it into anything on Bitcoin, so <laughs> it's kind of unusual, but the stock market is in a bull market right now. Uh, whether we have a, I've seen all kinds of things, after this happened, after that's happened, we have a 100% chance of going into a recession. If we do, we haven't seen it. Um, I have to see evidence of something like that in the charts and I don't see it. Right now we are in a completely bull market, full green zone, um, higher highs on, on the daily than we've ever had. Our weekly close is the highest weekly close we've had since the same, same time frame, obviously. <laughs> and we are starting to get above our 100 week moving average. So our, our broad market is showing strength, not weakness. So you have to read the chart for what it is. Now, if we go to Bitcoin, I wanted to, to show you a couple things that are happening on the weekly chart. Number one, um, yes, we have been going down for a while and this is a pretty large, yeah, it's, our week is down 1,182. So that's not super fun. Our prior green was up 11, or 13, 17, so it was up a little bit more, about $100 more, but we're kind of getting there. Uh, we really need a green day coming up here. Will we get it? I'm not sure. We'll look for evidence in the smaller time frames, but for now, there is something happening in our market. Look at this 50. This is our 50 week moving average. Uh, as we consolidated through our bear market, it finally got down very, very close to price action. And the first time we touched it, we rejected. Second time we touched it, we rejected. Third time we touched it, we blew through it with a massive candle. So we are on the right side of the 50. And currently we're on the right side of the 200 and the 50. But something different is happening to the 50 that we haven't seen for quite a few months. And that is that starting last week, so this is last week's close, look at the slope of our candle, or of our, of our line. Uh, this week was, our average was 21,979, 
Last week we closed at 22.009. This is the first positive slope on the 50 since, I think it was January of 22. Um, beginning of the year. So this is about a year and a half since we've seen a positive slope on the 50. So uh, let me just tell you how good news that is. <clears throat> Uh, that means the market is starting to warm up. We've definitely established a bottom. We've come off that bottom and we've established enough time up in that area that we are now sloping upwards. Even though this is a red week, um, we are accelerating our growth. So last time we went up by $30. Yeah, $30 slope um, from last week to current. And this week isn't closed yet, but <clears throat> it is up $130. So our slope is getting steeper. And after so long, we're going to be seeing this, this um, slope come all the way up. And I believe that this will be our ultimate support um, carrying us through the, the bull market. So we've got some, some chop, we've got some sideways. We're eventually gonna touch this, but I really think that we're probably gonna get up off of this. At, <clears throat> this was our only death cross we've ever had in the history of Bitcoin on the weekly. And at some point, maybe September, maybe, yeah, September or August, maybe, um, we will, if, if as long as we're trading up here, uh, we will see the first golden cross in the history on, on Bitcoin, which could be pretty awesome. So this is happening. Um, also, you know, just as we've been watching before, we do have a breakout and we do have a confirmation on the top of our breakout. So this is all, this is all happening. It's not very obvious and it's not very comfortable, this, this drop back down, but I'm seeing um, a slight change in momentum. We are shifting to the upside. Now let's get into the daily and see what is going on here. So yesterday's close was very, very, it was very pretty. Um, it was definitely a close that I really, really liked because even though it was red, we had a very long wick finding support off of the 100 and we closed our candle almost exactly at the resistance um, of this candle here. So we had a potential, so we had a chance to do this and we didn't, so, so sad. This would have been the perfect place to turn around. Um, but yeah, this, would have been beautiful if we could have held this line. If we had any green day, this would have been phenomenal. It would have been fireworks. Um, but yeah, so we closed perfectly and now we kind of lost it. So this, this, this line is not going to be relevant right now. So I'll remove it. But I drew it on yesterday um, just to point out to the uh, pro channel that we had a potential, a potential of a move up to the upside. Um, <clears throat> so now, Look at our candle today. We still have an hour and a half, so that's kind of where we are. But it's looking a lot like we probably aren't gonna to move too far from here. We're probably gonna put our candle body right on the 100 day moving average, which is not the greatest thing. Um, how, how an important support or resistant break, resistance breaks is we usually either have a giant candle to blow through it, if it's very important, or we have um, a close that's exactly on it. So this one was, was sort of that case. Big candle to blow through. We parked ourselves right, right at it um, at close, and then we started a new candle to get above it, and then we launched. So what we don't wanna do is the opposite. We don't wanna park our, our candle here, start a new candle, and drop. That would not be great for the bulls. Um, what is not also great is that um, I'm watching our 20. Our 20 has been, um, we were resisting for quite a while. Um, this one kind of, this candle here kind of tells you that there's um, importance in the 20. And then our massive candle blew, blew through everything. So we thought we left the 20 in, in the dust and we did hit support here. Um, Today, we might be losing the 20, which is not good. We don't want that. Um, we, we definitely, you know, I mean, the market can do anything it wants. Um, up, up here, we were kind of all over the map. 
but um, yeah, it's still it's still not good from a from a chartist standpoint. So that's got, it's kind of where we're at. We're kind of watching this close, but it's looking like we're going to lose the twenty. Um, and I don't know if, if we hold the the one hundred and have a green day and start moving back up, things could get really awesome. Um, but if things break down, <clears throat> especially if we touch the 200 again, I'm going to start getting pretty nervous. Um, if we get a candle body close that's anywhere close to here, uh, we are threatening, um, as, as much as this was a beautiful bottom, um, now that we've kind of gone through enough information and had this move here, this is all one move. So from this candle to here <clears throat> is the downside candle, and this is now our new 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 high. So we now have lower low, lower high, nothing's really changed. <laughs> and so in order to change this, we need a uh, we need a swing low that's higher than this. If we get very close to this, it's going to make me nervous. This is not going to be this is not going to be good for the for the bulls if we get a close anywhere near this. If it's if it's like only higher than it by a couple hundred bucks, we don't want that. <clears throat> we want it to be obviously higher. We would want to hold this level here uh, for sure. This one here, which is uh, 26,750. Yeah, we'd want to hold that. But if we lose the, the 100, it's going to be hard to hold, hold that line. You know what I mean? So we're kind of at a critical place. Uh, it's not, not super comfortable. But the, this is the way that the market's shaping out. If by chance we get a green day tomorrow and close up back up in our range 27,200 or something and we make a push for this high, um, everything changes. This market will have confirmation and we will be on our way up. So it really, it's going to come down to tomorrow. The things that we do have going for us is that our market is being very, uh, it's very hesitant to go down. So for example, the majority of this move happened uh, in the middle of the night. Let me go back to our, we'll go five minute chart. So the majority of our move here happened at four in the morning. Yeah, four or five. And then we kind of went through our day. The majority of our move from today, or at least our, our tail that happened, happened at 250. So we've got a lot of a lot of people moving this market down in between hours. And so this uh, is not, anyway, the, 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 mar the market's moving the most um, at, at low volume times. It feels a little bit constructed, but constructed or not, um, the market does what, what it does. Uh, the good thing is, is that after the market did this and created this, this nice low bottom and, and everything, eventually by close yesterday we pulled back up and, and, on, and the result was that we had a long wick on the bottom of our daily. Well, then we kind of sold back off again. And now, uh, slowly today, we've been marching back up. Here, here we got faked out, here we got faked out. Um, so we're getting really tight. Our five minute is trading right near all three averages, so everything's quite, quite level. But the more we get up off the ground here, the longer our, our support wick will be. So if I zoom back in, we have two candles with a pretty long support wick. Um, and so there, there is pressure intraday to pull this thing back up. And that means that um, the bears don't have complete rain over, over this, um, this move. And so hopefully, I mean, I wouldn't exactly call this a reversal candle. Neither would I call this a reversal candle. But uh, we do have candles that are very reticent to go down. So that means that uh, pretty soon we'll either get a reversal candle or we'll just naturally reverse um, off, of, off of these support wicks. So it's going to be a nail biter, just like always. Like trading is always exactly like that. It kind of pushes you to the limit of your... Uh, uh, emotional fortitude, and that's just the way markets are. So you, it, it's just part of trading. If that's uncomfortable and it's miserable, then you're going to want to be a, a long-term buy and hold guy, <laughs> not a trading person. <laughs> um, so that is pretty much as as detailed as we can get on the current action of Bitcoin. Um, Ethereum looks much different. Look at Ethereum. 
Ethereum is the, the wicks are even longer. Uh, we, we did slip below the 50 yesterday, which was not great, but we are holding support above this level very, very strongly. So we are only on in the 50% between, uh, the, we're only, we're trading at the top 50% of our uh, trading range right here. So there's a lot more strength in this market than weakness. <clears throat> and we've tried to get down below several times and same thing. In both cases, we're, we're pulling up. So Ethereum is showing much more strength than Bitcoin. Ethereum could turn around at any time. Um, we have an hour and a half, and it wasn't long ago that we were, we were full doji. So we'll see. This will be an interesting close to see where this ends up. So uh, we'll talk about it as a, as a pro channel um, at uh, 6 o'clock. We do all of our videos at 6 now because that's when Mexi, the global um, daily close, happens. It's also when the world happens. Uh, all, all the world closes and the new daily candles show up. So it's perfect time to, to do it. But we'll analyze it and see what we need to do, if anything. But I like the look of our Ethereum. Um, it's pulling, pulling up pretty strongly. Uh, let's see if there's anything going on on the weekly. Yeah, just more evidence that we're staying in the 50, the upper 50% of our prior candle, which is phenomenal. Like this is, we, we might get our breakout. This is just really getting good. Getting, it's hugging the top of our resistance. The more you, the more time you spend at a resistance, uh, the the more likely you'll break it. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We're we're uh, kind of on pins and needles waiting for our close, and it'll be tomorrow that really dictates a lot. If tomorrow falls apart, then uh, there could be some more pain coming up. Um, if we have a green day of any kind, uh, this whole market's going to look very bullish because. We're gonna get, you know, some serious movement back up to the top of our range, and we'll have lower, uh, higher lows established. Um, this this could really start looking better, really nice. Uh, but yeah, it's not it's not great. Um, let me just pull in our. I'll just do a Fibonacci just from the uh, candle bodies, just to kind of show where we are. Yeah. Because this is the this is the fifty percent mark, we <laughs> holding the fifty would have been <laughs> ideal, <laughs> and now today we're slipping below the um, the. Uh, it's hard to read. It's anyway. I know what it is. It's like the sixty sixty eight or whatever it is, um, the sixty two or whatever sixty one point something. Uh, so we're slipping below that, and then um, this is our final final section, man. If we get if we start closing down in here, we're in trouble. That's that's kind of why we want to stay up in this area and above. So hopefully we can do it, but uh, we have to we have to you know let the market do its thing. We're here to interpret the market, um, not <laughs> not direct the outcome. So uh, from an interpretation standpoint. There's a reason that we could be potentially finding a, a turnaround point, but these certainly are not reversal candles yet. So it's going to be a nail biter. All right. Hope that helps. And we will catch everybody tomorrow. Uh, don't forget to uh, put your Ethereum address in there. And we're just giving away $25 of Ethereum every day. And uh, anyway, if you're curious on, on how to trade, definitely show up on the uh, pro channel and we'll walk you through some stuff. All right. See you guys. Thanks, Thanks for, for making, making it to the end of my video. Uh, make sure you keep those trades small. Uh, don't force a trade. Don't get impatient. And uh, if you want to see how all this works, please come over and check me out on the subscription channel at CryptoInfluencers.com. Again, the link is in the description.